I have to look at it for what it actually is, not what it could be. So that happens to a lot of investors. They go, oh, you know what? This sucks. I could have made $50,000 on this deal, but the ARV is not really checking out or this buyer is not really qualified. So I lost that money. No, you didn't. You never had that deal because the deal was never a deal. You didn't really have that ARV. You didn't really have that spread. You didn't really have that buyer. Just because somebody says I want to buy a property doesn't make them a buyer. You cannot start counting your money and assuming that this is a done deal and going and spending that. You have to walk them through the whole process because unfortunately, you're going to start to find that people are not as vested in getting things done on time as you most likely are if you're somebody who listens to this podcast. So you're going to have to walk them through that process. And I do talk to a lot of wholesalers that won't do this. They'll say, you know what? I'm not walking some idiot through this process of babysitting them and making them tan in their loan docs and making them pull their FICO report and helping them with due diligence. I get that. And I don't want to do that all the time. But sometimes if it's somebody newer and I like them and they're trying to learn the process, okay, I'll do it. I'm probably not going to do it if it's going to be a two or $3,000 deal. I have to really be vested in it because it is a lot of extra work. Or maybe I tack on an extra fee. That's something you can do. Look, this is going to be more than me just selling you or wholesaling a property. I'm going to be consulting with you. I'm going to be doing due diligence. I'm bringing more value. So you have to pay me for that value. Maybe I get a percentage of the deal. Maybe I get equity in the deal. Maybe I get some cash flow. Maybe you just give me another three to five grand. Who knows? You know, there's other investors I know that will help manage the construction, manage the property manager. So all those things are extra value that you can put on to make yourself more valuable. Because to me, that opens up new buyers pools. And again, at some point, you know, some of my friends, they, they have just thousands of buyers that'll buy things. They have multiple offers right off the bat. They're not even putting A or B in construction budgets on their, their investment packets and they're selling them. So yes, if, if you have just things that are flying off the shelves, you have your five or 10 investors that are just buying everything. Yeah, you, you're probably not going to do this unless it's somebody you're trying to help out, but not everybody has that all the time. Or like in my case, some of these fees are very big. So if I'm wholesaling bigger deals and it's not a three to $5,000 check, you're talking over six figures on some of these. Yeah, I'm going to be taking that time to make sure that this deal doesn't go south and I don't 